Babadoo, yabba beep boop ba bing. Hey everybody, Last Outrider here. Ready for part two of the Legion of the Dam timeline. I know you are. This is covering all of the appearances of the Legion of the Damned over the last thousand years. We're now looking at the swords reforged. When High Fleet Moloch invades the weapon testing planet of Godba, 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 I'm going to say Godba, the Tyranids find that the planet has a vicious bite of its own. Everything from unclassified super heavy war machines to Gatling macro cannons is employed by the tech priest engine seers that supervise the planet's defenses with entire phalanxes of bane blades and shadow swords leading each charge against Moloch's many leader beasts. Yet, though Godba's surface is soon thick with Tyranid corpses, reinforcements cannot reach the, plant, the planet for months at best. The war of attrition starts to tip in the favor of the Xenos invaders. The last Steel Fury Squadron, the Swords of Goda, is crippled by sustained biocannon fire and swiftly overrun by numberless gaunts. Its crew command their soul, commend their souls to the Emperor, taking up their last pistols and auto guns and preparing for a last stand. Upon throwing open the hatches of their mobile fortresses, the crew of the swords are stunned to see squad after squad of black clad space marines forming a cordon around their tanks. The relentless pounding of their bolters and the billowing flames of their heli weapons blasting back the hormigants scuttling around them. The crew bail out, their saviors maintaining the cordon around them as they fight across three miles of corpse-strewn battlefield to reach a squadron of doom hammers whose crew had been slain by lictor attacks with the chameleonic assassin beasts blasted apart by pinpoint volleys from their legionnaire escort the crew of the swords quickly familiarize themselves with the weapon suits of the Doom Hammers and rejoin the fight. The introduction of three more super heavy tanks and almost a hundred legionnaires tips and almost a hundred legionnaires tips fate in the favor of the Imperium. The invading swarm is shattered, dispersed, and hunted to extinction, forcing the rest of High Fleet Moloch to seek prey elsewhere. <laughs> Tell me how cool is that? How cool is that? Next time, we're going to be dealing with... Well, you know what? I'm just going to do it now because it's a short one. In year 852 of Millennium 41... The Doom of Idhare. The Legion of the Damned come to the aid of the Invaders Chapter as they wage a devastating attack upon Craftworld Idhare. When their flaming bolts do little harm to the raging Avatar at the heart of the battle, the Legion instead blows out the great dome under which they fight. They vanish once more as the Eldar defenders and the single surviving member of the invaders' force left fighting were there are blasted out into the void. Idhara is left as a ruined and desolate husk of a craft world. Dun dun da 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 da
Ta da! Yes! Next time, then, we're gonna deal with the Great Bastion of Andraxis, which occurs in the year 922 of the 41st millennium. See you then! Bye!